Today we're going on an exciting journey, not just anywhere, but to a whole other world. That's right, we're heading to the red planet itself, Mars. Hello and welcome. Mars isn't just another rock in space. It's our closest hope for a second home. A place that might one day host human colonies, or perhaps even new civilizations. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and is often called Earth's sister planet. It's about half the size of Earth, has a thin atmosphere made mostly of carbon dioxide, and it gets its red color from iron oxide, essentially rust on its surface. Mars' average temperature is around minus 60 degrees Celsius. Atmosphere is very thin, mostly carbon dioxide. Mars' gravity one-third of Earth's. Water on Mars, probably mostly frozen in the poles, sandstorms, can last weeks or months. Mars is dry, dusty, and cold, but strangely similar to some deserts on Earth. Humans have been observing Mars for thousands of years. But the real exploration began in the 1960s, when NASA launched the Mariner missions. Since then, we've sent orbiters, landers, and rovers, including the famous Curiosity and Perseverance rovers, to study the planet's geology and search for signs of life. In the 17th century, Astronomers first noticed the red hue of Mars through their telescopes. In the 20th century, spacecraft like Mariner and Viking gave us our first real images of the Martian surface. In the 21st century, Curiosity and Perseverance rovers changed everything. Today, countries like China, the UAE, and companies like SpaceX are pushing further. One of the biggest questions is, has there ever been life on Mars? Scientists have found evidence that liquid water once flowed on its surface. Some believe that microbial life may still exist underground, protected from radiation by the Martian soil. Scientists found signs of ancient rivers and lakes. Minerals on Mars suggest it once had water. Could there have been microbial life? That's what Perseverance is trying to find out. It's collecting rock samples to send back to Earth. Some scientists dream of terraforming Mars, changing its environment to make it more Earth-like. Ideas include building giant mirrors to warm the surface or releasing greenhouse gases to thicken the atmosphere. But these plans would take centuries, if not longer. Could humans live on Mars? It's a big challenge. The atmosphere is unbreathable, temperatures are freezing, and there's no liquid water on the surface. But with the right technology, like habitats, oxygen generators, and food production systems, it's possible. SpaceX, for example, aims to send humans to Mars in the coming decades. Getting to Mars takes six to nine months. Dangers include radiation, limited food, mental stress, and no easy way back. But SpaceX is developing Starship for human travel. NASA is also preparing via the Artemis program. Future habitats may be underground or inflatable. We'll need to make oxygen from so too and grow food in greenhouses. It won't be easy, but it's possible. The goal, permanent human presence. Maybe one day, kids will be born on Mars. It could become humanity's second home. As we look to the future, Mars may be our next home, or at least our next great adventure. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe, leave a review, and share it with your fellow space lovers. Until next time, keep looking up.